Hi, I'm Eric with Home Network Central. And if you're trying to find out, do I need a modem for my router? Then I'm gonna try and help you answer that question. So let's say I have this router here. My question is, do I need a modem or not? The way to tell is, first of all, do you want to access the internet from this router? If you want to access the internet from this router, then the answer is yes, you absolutely need a modem. If you don't need to access the internet, then you don't need to buy a modem. If all you need is to connect all your stuff to the router and you need to access all this stuff in like amongst each other without getting on the internet, you don't need a modem. But if you want to connect to the Wi-Fi of this router, then you, and you want to access the internet from that Wi-Fi from home, then you need a modem. The internet from a router, the internet doesn't just come from the air. The internet doesn't, it's not just magically connecting to the internet. You need to connect to a modem so that, which provides internet service. So in my apartment, I have this port over here and that's where my internet comes from. So there's, I need to find a way to get from this to my router. So my router can access the internet from that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna plug a modem into that port because you see, it's easy. You can find a cable, a coaxial cable that goes from here into here. And this will be able to interpret the internet and then you can plug a cable from here into your router. And now your router can get online. But the router on it by itself does not have internet access. Wi-Fi is not the same as internet. Wi-Fi means you can connect to the router with a wireless signal like from your phone but it doesn't, there's no internet anywhere. You gotta get it from the, from the modem. So you take a coaxial cable. I have one right here and I gotta unplug it because I wasn't prepared. You take your coaxial cable and you plug one end into the jack on your wall. That screws in there. And that is where the internet will come from. The other end goes into your modem. See, there's a port for it on there. There's no port on the router that will fit this. The other end of this cable, see what it looks like? It has one copper wire inside there. There's nowhere to plug that into in the router. So I need the modem, which accepts this connection. So if I can, I'm working with limited hands here. I'm just holding my camera. So the other end of this cable goes into your modem. And now I can take an ethernet cable. The modem doesn't have Wi-Fi or anything. It only has two physical ports. It doesn't do anything special. It's all it does is allow you to connect one or two devices to the internet. So, Instead of plugging a laptop into these devices, I take my ethernet cable that came with my router or any ethernet cable, plug one end into the modem, and I plug the other end into the internet port of my router. Now, I can connect to the Wi-Fi of my router and it gets the internet from this cable, which comes from the modem, which is required to interpret the signals from the wall from right here. Because the, the router doesn't plug directly into this. So you need the modem as the middleman. You may or may not be familiar with a modem router combo, but it's basically a modem and a router. You take a modem and a router, you put them together, and you make one device. So basically you take this router and you put this, install this on it and it becomes a modem router combo. So now we have a router that has Wi-Fi, and it also has a modem built into it. So this is, the benefit of this is you just have fewer devices sitting on your table. So you can plug your coaxial from the wall directly into your modem router combo, and now it's a router and it's a modem. So you don't need two devices. You don't need to buy another modem because there's a modem built into this one. 
So if you have a modem router combo, you don't need another modem because there's already a modem. You just need a way to get from this port on the wall to the back of this. So I don't need a modem because it's already there. And then this router provides more ports for me to plug stuff into. And it also provides Wi-Fi that I can connect to with my phones and wireless devices. So in general, do I need a modem to get on the internet? The, the answer is yes. You need a modem to get on the internet because you need a modem to interpret the signals from the cable company or the phone company. There's two different kinds of modems. There are cable modems like this that has that port that I've been showing you. And there's a DSL modem, which I don't have an example of, but it's basically the same thing. But instead of this, there's like a little phone jack in the back of it. So it's, you know, it, it's the same thing, but it plugs into a different kind of port. Cable modem or a DSL modem? Do you need a modem to get on the internet? Yes. Does your typical router like this need a modem? Yes, it does to get on the internet. If you have a modem router combo, do you need a modem to get on the internet? The answer is yes. The modem is built into it. So you do have a modem, but it's built in. You don't need to buy a separate modem because this one already has it in. So you do need a modem, but the modem is built in. I hope I didn't confuse you more. I tried to show you with a specific visual so you can see exactly how this works. But if this helped you out, please give me a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching my video.